All right, I'm going to show you guys how to mod X-Men Legends 2. Now, I've been asked this countless times, so I'm finally doing it for you guys. First thing I want to tell you, though, if you're playing this on console or PSP or anything like that, this mod will not work. No mods will work. It's PC only, so please stop asking me about that. It does not work on console. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you can run this thing on a very cheap PC. I'm going to assume that you don't have the game on PC because not many people actually do. And that's fine. All you have to do is go to this website here, myabandonware.com. And you'll want to search for X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse. Although I'll have the link in the description for you guys. So you don't actually have to go out of your way to search for it. Once you're on here, we'll scroll down and click the yellow download button. Now, we'll see a whole bunch of things here. The only one we need to worry about is this, the one that says full rip. So go ahead and click that download button. I already have the game downloaded so that this can go by faster. And once you download it, it'll show up in your downloads folder or wherever it is you have your downloads going to. Now to keep things simple and easy to follow, I'm just gonna create a folder inside the downloads folder called X-Men Legends 2. Now, the one that we just downloaded is this X-Men Legends 2 Rise of, of Rise of Apocalypse. Sorry, a little tongue twister there. So we're gonna drag this file into X-Men Legends 2. Just ignore this for now. You don't have that yet. So once we're in here in the folder that we just made, we're gonna click on this, right click, and then click extract here or wherever you want to extract it to. Now I have WinRAR, you might not have that, but Windows will come with whatever extraction thing it comes with now. My PC is old, so I have WinRAR. And if you're on Mac or something like that, I do not know if this works, <laughs> honestly. I don't use Mac, I don't use any of that stuff, I just use Windows, so please do not ask me anything like that. All right, now that we've extracted the file, we're just going to go ahead and delete it since we don't need it anymore. Now, you'll see two folders and a readme. This readme just has a whole bunch of troubleshoot options in case you have problems with the game. So if you do, look through here. This folder here, DG Voodoo, it just has a whole bunch of, you know, files to fix the game in case you have trouble. So. If you're not having trouble, just ignore this. You could even delete it if you're not having problems, but I don't recommend deleting it. Anyways, we'll go into the X-Men Legends 2 folder and we'll look for the application file. It'll be named X-Men 2 and we'll double click it to run it. All right, I'm just going to load up an old save that I have just to show you guys that the game works. Okay, so, oh, I have to set up controls, so let me, let me just show you guys how I set up controls real quick. So we'll go into options, and then down here we'll see advanced options. And then on player one, we'll set up our controls, so move forward, we'll be up on the analog stick, move left, left on the analog stick, oops. Oh my god. All right. So attack power one, think of a PlayStation controller. I feel like that's the best way to explain this. So on a PlayStation controller, we will press X for power one. For power two, we'll press circle. For extreme, we'll press triangle. For boost, we'll use square. Now for use powers, we'll press R2. Energy pack will be R1. Health pack should be L1, call allies will be L2, and then character up will be up on the D-pad, character left will be left on the D-pad. Map toggle I put on R3, start will be, well, start. That's menu, select, and then the camera up will be right analog stick up and camera left, right analog stick left, and I always have trouble with this for some reason. And we can just ignore the rest of this. We don't really need it. Now we'll accept. Okay, so these controls are how I play. I think this is how it is on, on like console. So 
Now, let's look at the character roster. So keep in mind, this is unmodded. This is the vanilla game roster. So we have Deadpool, Iron Man, Juggernaut, Magneto, all the original roster of the game. So we don't have the mods yet, and that's what we want. We want the mods. So let me close this game out and show you how to get them. All right, so we're gonna wanna go to this website here, marvelmods.com. And I'll have the link for this in the description. So you can just go to that and easily find what you're looking for. So we'll see here that there's package mods. Now the package mods are the easiest mods to do. All you have to do is download them and then run them. You don't have to do any tinkering. Everything you see down here will have a little more steps to them and they should have instructions on how to do that within, you know, their, their mod page. I'm not going to show you how to do this because it, it would just be too much. And most people just want, you know, this all X-Men edition or Brotherhood edition or MCU edition. So I'm going to show you how to do this. All, all three of these will be the exact same steps. So we'll go into all X-Men edition, click the release post. And then we will click download here. I already have this downloaded. If you remember that other file I had in here, it would be this one. All X-Men Edition version 1.3. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag this into the folder that we made. And then we're going to drag it into the folder that the game made. So now this file should be in the same spot where we booted the game from. So what we're going to do, we're going to extract this right here and make sure it's in here where the game is. When it asks you if it wants to replace anything, click yes to all. All right, and that's it. You've modded the game. Well, not, not exactly. You have a, another version of the game that has all the mods on it. So we're going to go ahead and boot that up. All right, I'm just going to load an old save. And as you can see, we have Beast and Psylocke on our team who are not usually in the game. Now let me show you some of the other characters in here. So we have Angel, Cable, Dark Phoenix, Emma Frost, Havoc, and Jubilee, just to name a few. And let's go to everyone's favorite, Wolverine. And if we scroll through the skins, you will see that we did have some new ones. Here we go. Wolverine's classic tiger stripe, his brown and tan costume, as well as many others. So pretty much anything you could ever want will be in these packages. So if you want your All X-Men edition, you have that. If you want your... All Brotherhood of Evil Mutants with Magneto and all of them. There's that version. You can't have them all like... You, you can't have one game with like 100 characters. It just... The engine cannot handle that. So you have to have multiple different versions, unfortunately. I almost forgot to mention. So when you first get this, you're only going to have two skins. And you're going to be like, what the hell? Where's the rest of the skins? Did it not come with it? So in this game, you have to put in... Either you put in a cheat code to unlock all the skins, or you have to beat the game. One or the other. I recommend just putting in the cheat code. You can find that anywhere. Um, I, I highly recommend using a controller for the cheat code, because it's not going to make a whole lot of sense if you're using keyboard and mouse. So just keep that in mind. All right, so I hope that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And I highly recommend that you guys join their Discord. You know, tell the people who made these mods, you know, your thanks. Because they put a lot of work and effort into this. And they are very helpful. So if you guys actually have any questions or want to do more modding to the game, I only briefly covered, like, you know, the easy All X-Men edition. But there's a lot of mods for these games. And... The community heavily, still heavily supports it. And they've been doing it for many years. So they can help you out a whole lot more than I can. So I'll have the link to their Discord in the description. Please go check them out. Give them all thanks because they put a lot of effort into this. And I hope you all enjoy.